Look at all those apples. Ripe and juicy. Perfect for booking. What the heck is going on? <gasps> They're back! My Little Pony, My Little Pony Tons of fun A beautiful heart, faithful and strong Sharing kindness It's an easy feat And magic makes it all complete You have mine Do you know you're all my very best friends? Attention! This is a sweet apple acres cold red I need all hooves and claws Calm down, Applejack. Calm down? How can I calm down at a time like this? Vampire fruit bats are attacking sweet apple acres. But I thought the fruit bats usually stayed put in the West Orchard. The fruit bats do. But these aren't just your everyday ordinary fruit bats. They're vampire fruit bats. I'll be darned if they think they're gonna sink their fangs into my blue ribbon apple. Awesome. This here's our entry into the Appaloosa State Fair's produce competition. You know how much TLC goes into getting an apple to grow like this? Applejack, when you go big, you really go big. Them vampire bats want to shrivel it up like a raisin. Oh, I'm sure if we just let them know how special that particular apple is to you, they'll leave it alone. Yeah, right. Be my guest. Um, excuse me, Mr. Vampire Bat. We were just wondering if maybe you wouldn't mind leaving that really big apple alone? Well, what'd he say? Um, yes. Huh? But it could have been a no. Oh. This is the first vampire fruit bat I've ever met, and, well, it might take some time for me to really understand their language. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, this pest and his vermin friends are gonna go after my prized apple. And while they're at it, every other apple in the orchard. These vampire bats are nothing but a bunch of monsters. Monsters? Oh, that's a bit harsh, don't you think? No, I do not. Those vampire bats will give you a fright. Eating apples both day and night. They rest for a minute, maybe three. Then they're eating every apple in your apple tree. They don't care about nada, not zilch, no nothing. Except bringing about an orchard's destruction. Now wait just a minute, there's another side to this. And if I did not defend them, then I would be remiss. These bats are mamas and papas, too. They care for their young just like we ponies do. Oh, give me a break, you're being too kind. These creatures have a one-track mind. The orchard is not their restaurant. But do they ever think what others may want? No, they don't. And that is just a fact. These bats, they simply don't know how to act. That's where I have to disagree. They're loyal to their family, spreading seeds both far and wide. You see one coming, you better run and hide. They're big and ugly and mean as sin. Will you look at the state my trees are in? They help your trees. They'll grow stronger, faster. They've turned my life to a total disaster. Well, I for one don't have a doubt. These vermin must be stamped right out. I second that they've got to go. These bats, they've got to hit the road. It comes down to just one simple fact. They've crossed the line. It's time to fight them Stop back. Stop the bats. Stop the bats. Just one.
one simple fact They've crossed the line, it's time that we attack I'm sorry, Fluttershy, but I believe Applejack has made the better argument These vampire fruit bats sound downright dreadful So let's get to rounding them up so that they don't destroy the rest of my orchard Fruit bat roundup, fruit bat roundup Um, excuse me, but um what if instead of rounding them up, we let them have part of the orchard? Have you lost your pest-loving mind? They're only here because they're hungry. If we build a sanctuary for them, they could have their own apples to enjoy. After a while, they could even help the rest of your orchard. The vampire bats don't eat the seeds of the apples, and when they spit them out, they grow into even more productive apple trees. Listen, Fluttershy. That sounds real nice and all. But every second we spend building this so-called sanctuary is a second they'll spend destroying Orchard. You don't know what it was like the last time there was an infestation, but Granny Smith has told me enough stories about it that just the thought of it gives me nightmares. Granny says we lost a huge section of Orchard that year. They had to ration out apples all winter. What about the cider? There was still cider, right? Not a drop. No cider? No cider? We need to round up these monsters and we need to do it now! If Granny Smith wasn't with Apple Bloom and Big Mac checking out our produce competition in Appaloosa, she'd be here telling us to do just that. I'm sorry, Fluttershy, but I think Applejack is right. I just wish there was another way we could convince them not to eat them in the first place. Maybe there is. So there's good news and bad news. The good news is that I found a spell that can get the vampire fruit bats to stop wanting to suck the juice from the apples. But in order for the spell to work, I need the bats' full and complete attention. <gasps> oh no. Fluttershy, I need you to do your stare on the bats. Oh gosh, I don't know. What's the problem? You've used the stare plenty of times before. Yes, but it's not something I take lightly. I've made a vow not to use it except in dire circumstances. This circumstance is plenty dire to me. Me too. Think of the cider. Won't somebody please think of the cider? I'm sorry. I just don't like the idea of taking away the thing that really makes the vampire fruit bats vampire fruit bats. It just feels wrong. But if we don't do this, there won't be any apples left for any pony here in Ponyville. Doesn't that feel wrong too? So what's it gonna be, Fluttershy? Will you do your stare on the bats or not? Um, um, okay, I'll do it. Good choice. I knew you wouldn't side with those icky bats. <laughs> They're not icky. First round of ciders on me! Hold it right there. We gotta round up these beasts with wings first. Time's a wasting. we need is for you to do your stare. Um, are you sure I really need... Okay. I really, really, really hate to do this to you. I just hope you can forgive me. Good. Now you go, Twilight. All right. Work? 
Only one way to find out for sure. Thank you for your help. I couldn't have done it without you. Uh, don't mention it, Applejack. It was my pleasure. Really. Now all we gotta do is sweep up these cores so I can start bucking fresh tomorrow morning. Apple bucking day, take two. Collect those juicy sweet apples. <laughs> the spell didn't work. You're darn tootin' the spell didn't work. I think we're gonna have to take more extreme measures. I hear you, Applejack. Come on, everybody. Let's track down those vampire bats. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't think these bats are the ones that suck my apples dry. But if the vampire bats aren't eating your apples, who is? Fluttershy, you're our animal expert. Do you know of any other creature that might be capable of this? I'm sorry, I don't. Well, there's only one way to find out. We'll have to catch whoever it is in the act. And how do you propose we do that? A stakeout. Witching hour. Maybe we should just call this off. I'm not sure about the rest of you guys, but I'm really hungry. Oh, Fluttershy, it'll be okay. Don't forget, darling, we're all in this together. That's right. No pony leaves this orchard until we solve this mystery. Agreed? Agreed! Does every pony have their pony signal? <laughs> now remember, Pinkie Pie, only use a signal if you see something suspicious. I got it! Something suspicious! All right, now every pony split up. We'll each patrol our own row of the orchard. Whoever or whatever's destroying my apples has got to be here somewhere. I have a bad feeling about this. A really bad feeling about this. That apple, it looks so juicy and sweet. <laughs> Obviously, no need to worry about that shadowy figure overhead. Oh, maybe there is. I think I'll just go see how Rainbow Dash is doing. Uh, who's there? Answer me, or you'll regret it. Fine, have it your own way. Take that! You, you, you! Scarecrow? Oh. <gasps> Applejack, what is it? <laughs> Shy, that's Flutter Bat. We've got to get her down from there. 
Fluttershy's sweetness, please come down and do stop being a vampire bat. Fluttershy, it's me, Rainbow Dash. Why don't you cut the bad act and come on down? We should just let her come down when she's ready. Let her bat on the loose! Run by Ella! Pinkie Pie, calm down. See? She's back on her branch. She's just biding her time, waiting for the right moment to pounce. Pinkie Pie, bats don't eat ponies. Not even vampire bats. But maybe vampire ponies eat other ponies? I'm not taking any chances. <laughs> How did this happen? That's what I don't understand. I think this was actually our fault. Our fault? And how'd you figure that? Okay, so this is me, these are the bats, and this is Fluttershy doing her stare. The spell was supposed to go right onto the bats like this, but somehow the spell must have backfired. It took the vampire fruit bats' desire to be vampire fruit bats and transfer that desire into Fluttershy. Come on, we'll reverse the spell and make it right. Then what are we waiting for? Let's save Fluttershy before the thing eats us all! Take the deck! Follow yeah. back that! Believe we lost her. Oh, Fluttershy, where are you? Look out! No! If she keeps this up, your whole crop will be gone in no time. That's the least of my worries. I just want my friend back. We'll never get her back unless we corner her and catch her so I can reverse the spell. There she is. There she goes! Oh, this is no use. I think the only way we're gonna catch her is if we find a way to lure her closer to us. But even if we can lure her to us, how are we going to get her to stay still long enough for you to do your reverse spell? Oh, if only we had Fluttershy to do her stare on the Flutter Bat! <gasps> That's it! Okay, let's get our friend back. Action stations! So much for having the winning apple in the Appaloosa State Fair, huh? <sighs> Sorry I didn't take your suggestion in the first place. And don't forget, now you'll get seeds that will grow into even bigger and better apple trees. Does that mean what I think it means? Yep, more cider too. <laughs> 
Okay, got the part about the spell, Fluttershy turning into a bat, building the sanctuary. Be sure to put in there that I came to see that my short-term solution was a little short-sighted. And that you shouldn't let any pony pressure you into doing something you don't think is right. Sometimes you have to tell even your closest friends no. Now, how about we celebrate our stronger-than-ever friendship with a nice, ripe, juicy apple? Stand back! I bun to suck its juice! <laughs> 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 Ha, 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 ha,